Kevin here from Capital Tech Solutions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add additional sales channels to your Shopify account. So there are two ways to add additional sales channels. So the first way is you come over here to the left and you press the little plus sign and you can go, go through and add in the sales channels that you like. You just press the little plus button on the right and then you just go through the process of setting it up. It's a pretty uh, straightforward process of setting these sales channels up. You just go through, it's a step-by-step -step process that Shopify walks you through. The other way of setting up a sales channel is you come over here to settings, you go to sales channels, and then you go ahead and you click add sales channel, and it's the same process of adding, addition, adding in these sales channels. Also, the difference between the sales channel and the settings page and then just the sales channel section here on the left, is you can actually delete the sales channel when you're within the settings page. So for example, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and delete eBay so it no longer shows up as a list of sales channels that I offer. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add in an additional sales channel. I'm gonna add an Instagram. And then here you'll see this page. Now this isn't the pa same page for other sales channels. Some of them are gonna be a little bit different. Like for Facebook, it's just gonna automatically ask you to connect your Facebook account. You're not gonna really see anything like that, this. And I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but it's gonna kinda of show you what that sales channel is gonna have access to if you do see this page. So for this example, Instagram will be able to view Shopify account data, manage marketing, and manage other data. And you can go through and you can view the details for each one to see what exactly they're gonna be able to have access to. So once that all looks good and you're comfortable with that, then you can go ahead and you click add sales channel. And then usually there, there will be some additional steps to follow. So like for the Instagram one, you wanna install Facebook and then add Facebook. So this is all set. I'm gonna leave it here, but the process is, like I said, you just stop, follow the steps. If you run into any errors, Shopify will let you know what you need to do to correct them. Um, if you haven't finished setting up a sales channel, it's basically gonna look like this, where it's just gonna tell you, here are the additional steps. Like for example, Facebook, I still need to connect the Facebook account. So once I connect that, then it'll open up Facebook and I just follow the process there. Um, now you might be thinking, you know, these are kind of limited in the number of sales channels and maybe you see some on here that you might not wanna use. You can then visit the Shopify app store and they have a ton of different sales channels that you can sell through. So just because it's not listed here doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So you can go through here and add in the sales channels this way as well. Um, and the process is pretty much the same um, as setting it up through just doing it this way. So yeah, that's pretty much the process of setting up a sales channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Also make sure to subscribe as we do come out with these tutorial videos quite often. We also are coming out with tutorial videos for platforms like WordPress as well. So if you're interested in that, we do have those videos. So make, so make sure that you subscribe, um, that way you don't miss out. So yeah, thank you for watching.